Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for Tuesday, September 19th, 2023. If you are new, what's up? I'm glad that you're here. If you are returning, what up though? I'm glad that you're back. Taurus, we are gonna go ahead and jump right in here for a past, present, future read for you guys today. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, Taurus, so it will not resonate with everyone, but if it does, like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell over on the side, leave a comment down in the bottom, let me know that you guys are resonating with it. Taurus, it is completely free for you guys and totally beneficial for me, so, you know what I'm saying, let's get it, all right? Spirit, show me a past, present, future read for the Taurus Collective today. Show me what I need to see for Taurus here. Spirit, show me a past, present, future read for Taurus today. Show me what I need to see for Taurus, please. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see, please. Shoot. Some of you guys feeling something or want to say something, Taurus. Some of you guys got a lot on your mind, maybe. Maybe they just got a lot of say, a lot to say to you today. Who knows? Let's see. All right, what we got? For the past, we have the Seven of Swords up right here. For the present, we have the Hierophant reversed, and the future, we have the Seven of Wands here. Okay. Um, some of you guys could be seeing a lot of sevens. Look up angel number seven 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 and see what it means for you, Taurus. Um, let's gonna go. Let's go ahead and get in here and clarify this. Okay, uh, for the past, you have the Seven of Swords. If you are new, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. This is a really good um, quick reference. If you guys uh, want to follow along with me, you can get this off of Amazon. I don't know exactly how much I paid for it, but I know I got it from Amazon, okay? We've got the Seven of Swords for the past position here, Taurus. Let's see what they got to say for the Seven of Swords upright. The easiest association is a thief in your camp. Some of you guys are dealing with a thief in your life, in your energy right now, okay? Not not right now, for the past. You guys were dealing with one. <clears throat> this is a uh, air sign, Taurus. So this is Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The easiest association is a thief in your camp, a false friend, backstabbing, and ma machinations against you by cowards, outright theft, and general deception. Usually this is the case. In more esoteric readings, this card will indicate some clever action taken to circumvent an existing situation for personal gain, or the act of using an oppressor's own words or devices against them and getting away with it. In any case, this card almost always deals directly with the issues of deception and schemes or manipulation. Check all of the cards that expect this and compare them carefully to your client's question to ascertain how this card fits in. Usually the answer will be fairly obvious. Let's see who this person, this air sign in your energy, Taurus, that is um, a backstabber or a fake friend or someone in your energy that just overall is not good. Let's see who this is. Clarify Seven of Swords in the past for Taurus, please, Spirit. Please clarify the Seven of Swords for Taurus in the past here, if you don't mind. Let's see what we got. Boom, 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 boom. All right, Taurus, you got the Four of Swords. I keep, this is probably the third reading that's got the Four of Swords here, guys. So, um, you got the Seven of Swords clarified by the Four of Swords. So it's still an air sign in your energy, Taurus. Um, uh, someone in your energy is digging up the past or things that are better left alone um, no rest from prying eyes and searching hands lack of recognition for one's efforts and deeds so if someone here in your energy just doesn't recognize you for who you are for who you are Taurus or they're trying to make you seem like you are not who you are like say you're actually a good person and you try really hard and you focus on your work and you're just downright n not a bad person okay they're sitting over here they're like well well this person cusses a lot or this person I seen them throw down a piece of trash the other day. They didn't even take it to the trash can. They're like trying everything they can to make you seem like you're such a bad person, Taurus, okay? That's for someone out here. And that's probably an air sign, most likely, because it's air in your energy. So that's probably a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that you guys are dealing with. 
Um, let's go, to, go ahead and look at the Hierophant Reverse for the present card here, Taurus, and see what they have to say about that. The act of following tradition unquestioningly, fundamentalism, rule-mongering, bureaucracy, prosthetization, browbeating, excommunication. Okay, so you you guys have, are, you guys are intuitive. Um, you guys, Taurus, you do things by the book, you do things by tradition, unquestioningly, you don't question anything. Fundamentalism, you guys look at the fundamentals in life and the uh, importance of having fundamentals, rule-mongering, bureaucracy, prosthetization, browbeating, excommunication. So you guys are being excommunicated by this air sign basically kind of thrown out in the cold let me get a uh, clarify excuse me guys let me get a clarifying card for the higher font reversed and the uh, present here for taurus spirit show me a clarifying card for the higher font reversed here for taurus and the present show me what i need to see show me what i need to see please for taurus okay we got the two of swords <clears throat> There is no winning here. The balance created, all right, this is an air sign as well. So heavy air sign in your read here, Taurus. <clears throat> Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. There is no winning here. The balance created is a thinly veiled stalemate where no meaningful action can take place. This card indicates an impasse. Without some sort of compromise, there will be no progress, no real or lasting peace, and certainly no possibility of effective change. Everything is at a standstill. Additionally, parties involved are defensively engaged, unwilling or unable to let their defensive de defenses down and expose themselves emotionally or to any new ideology that will precipitate a breakthrough. This card foretells labor disputes or negotiations breaking it. Bre this card foretells labor disputes or negotiations breaking down. In artistic or literary endeavors, it indicates creative or creative or writer's block. So some of you guys are dealing with a air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius who are very stuck in their ways and um, it's like they're they do think so traditionally that they are unwilling to look at anything from a different perspective other than the traditional perspective that has been put in front of them their entire life and since they are unwilling to do that there is no breakthrough you can't move any closer to this person or get a breakthrough through to this person because they're so unwilling to look at the situation differently they are stuck in the ways that they see things okay so that is significant for someone out here taurus this is a pretty specific read for you guys so this is not going to be for everyone if it does resonate with you though please hit that like button share subscribe leave a comment down in the comment sections hit that bell over on the side so that way i know that you guys are resonating with the message it's totally free for you guys and completely beneficial for me just throwing that out there one more time all right let's go ahead and look at this seven of swords i mean uh, seven of wands reverse for the future here guys Don't expect an easy victory. In fact, victory at all may not be possible along the present course. Sometimes it is best to retreat and find more solid ground. Occasionally, this card may indicate weakness or paranoia. There must be a cusp of Taurus and Gemini watching this. I actually just got the same thing for, I think it was Virgo and Cancer, or Virgo and Libra, or something like that. Um, the reason that I say that is because we just got the Seven of Wands and the Gemini read. Um, and reverse as well and don't expect an easy victory okay Taurus in fact victory at all may not be possible along the present course you guys might have to change something up totally like completely change it up in order to be victorious on whatever it is whatever it is that you guys are fighting for here sometimes it is best to retreat and find more solid ground occasionally this card may indicate weakness or paranoia this is a fire sign it is a fixed fire card so it could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius that is in your life here that you're trying to gain a victory over, but it's telling you to take a step back, re, uh, re examine the situation, find a more solid ground, and then move forward. And also saying that you may be dealing with weakness or paranoia. Don't work, don't be, I ain't gonna tell you what to do, but don't be paranoid about whatever you got going on in here, Taurus, okay? Unless you did something wrong and you're scared you're gonna get caught, then you might need to be paranoid. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pull a message from the Ancestors Oracle card for you guys today, Taurus. This is going to be a message directly from your ancestors to you. 
something if you're wondering what they're thinking about you or what they got to say to you or something like that this is what they're going to say it's going to be a message directly from them okay let's see what we need to see for taurus today spirit show me what i need to see for taurus ancestors show me what i need to see for taurus today please right there we go all right we have the explorer adventure card all right, Taurus, maybe you're an explorer or an adventurer, or maybe you need to do something like that. Taurus, get your mind off of this other stuff you got going on. Explorer. We seek stability in our lives, yet in our efforts to create routines and a sense of safety and security, we compromise that pleasure of discovery and novelty. After all, getting outside one's comfort zone implies that you will be uncomfortable. Putting yourself in unfamiliar situations that require adaptability, courage, creative problem solving, and a willingness to be adventurous get the juices flowing and can create new neural pathways in the brain. Exploration and adventure are not only confined to geographical journeys, but can apply to other areas of your life, such as emotional, physical, mental, and relational exploration. Taking risks with these kinds of adventures, you'll likely be nervous. You're venturing into the unknown and the unfamiliar, but you're also stretching the limits of what you think you're capable of doing and creating greater confidence in your ability to handle fresh situations and challenges. All right. This is what your ancestors are trying to say to you through me drawing this card, Taurus. You feel the predictability of your life caught up in a revolving door of routine and boredom, punctuated occasionally with unexpected surprises that provide contrast between the habitual and familiar cycle of your life. Feeling trapped in the ordinar ordinariness you may... One second. Something out there, bro. I don't know what it is, but something definitely out there. I've been hearing their ass all night throughout these reads. <laughs> <clears throat> you feel the predictability of your life caught up in a revolving door of routine and boredom, punctuated occasionally with unexpected surprises that provide contrast between the habitual and familiar, si and familiar cycle of your life. Feeling trapped in the ordin ordinariness, you may even fantasize a way out of this prison-like feeling that crops up periodically. It's time to break out. Introduce some excitement into your relationships. Express your emotions more freely. Speak your truth without blame, shame, or judgment. Ask for what you want. Plan an adventure that challenges you physically and or mentally. Take up a musical instrument or enroll in a painting class. Stretch yourself. Go out of your habitual routines and relax the obsessive need to be in control. While you're at it, have some fun. All right, Taurus, that's for you guys. That's specific for someone out here. I ain't got no idea what to name this message other than don't, get, don't let this person make you stuck, something like that. Taurus, that is going to be the end of your reading for today. I hope this resonated with someone. If it did, like share subscribe leave a comment down in the comment section hit that bell over on the side it's totally free for you guys and totally beneficial for me so it lets me know you guys resonated with the message okay <clears throat> that's going to be specific for someone out here today taurus love you guys hope you guys have a great rest of your day okay keep your heads up love yourself first